If you've ever had to reset your smartphone before, you know the hassle that comes along with setting your home screen pages back up again. Whether you have multiple widgets across these panels, or you have your apps and games organized in individual folders. The process of going back in and organizing this setup can be enough to discourage people from performing a factory data reset on their device. But thankfully, there is a backup and restore system that you can use if you have a Samsung Galaxy smartphone or tablet. It will require you to install the Home Up module from the Good Lock system though. So if you don't have that installed yet from the Samsung Galaxy App Store, or maybe you just aren't familiar with the module system itself, then I highly recommend you check out the introductory video that I did on the Good Lock application, which you can find linked in the video description below. And once you get that application installed, we can then create our first layout backup. But before I can show you that, we have a quick word from today's sponsor. PlayStoreSales.com is a website that shows the very best Android apps and games that are on sale right now. The website is maintained completely by hand, and you'll even find the price history data directly on the sales page. So please go check out www.playstoresales.com and let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Now, let's get back to showing you how to create and restore your home screen layout on Samsung Galaxy devices. Remember, this will require the Good Lock application to be installed. So once you have it on your phone, go ahead and open it up. From here, you're going to want to find the Home Up module and then tap the down arrow next to it so that it can be installed. Once it is installed, we can open it up by tapping on it. And then from here, we're going to tap on the backup and restore feature. This option will be disabled by default, but we can enable it by tapping on the toggle up here at the top. Once this has been enabled, you can choose how often you want the backups to be created. Our options are once a day, once per week, or completely manual by selecting the not used option. So to show you this feature in action, let's take a look at my current home screen layout. You can see we have a widget right here in the bottom half of the screen, our app stores, a folder for Google, and our toolbar down here. We have some apps here. Then we have our test folder with a whole bunch of stuff our Good Lock and our Galaxy Store app. And then we have the Google Meet application, multiple copies actually, in the exact same spot. So let's go into the backup and restore feature and create a backup. So now that we have a backup of our current layout, now we can begin moving things around. So let's take this widget and move it up to the top. Let's get rid of these Play Store icons, these App Store icons, move this Google fold folder over to the left, switch around the settings application into a folder down here. We can move precise volume, bring our test application up here above those apps, and the same with our Google Meet app icons. Let's just move them around so that they are in different places. And this is a great simulation of what might happen if you give your phone to a child or someone who just wants to mess with you by moving your app icons around 
and possibly even deleting those widgets. So now we simply need to go back to our home up application. And again, remember we are in the backup and restore section and we can restore from one of our previously created backups by tapping on that and then confirming, yes, we do want to restore this file. And once that layout has been restored, you can see all of the app icons that were moved or deleted are back where they were when we first created that backup. So right now, I'm currently looking into how we can move or copy this backup off the device so that we can use this after we perform a factory data reset. The only article that I saw talking about this seems to be outdated since that hidden file or folder cannot be found in the, lo in the location that was mentioned. However, if you are familiar with how to copy these backups off the device, then please share those details down in the comment section below. I'll likely cover this in a separate video once I'm able to confirm how this is done with the latest version of the GoodLock application.